I'm really talking about tonight is light. And uh, prototype photography and in model photography, uh, light is really, people ask me, I, I, really, I got an editor asking me not, not two weeks ago, how come your pictures snap? And, uh, and I'm trying to tell him, backlight, backlight, backlight. And that's what I can tell you, backlight. And don't overfill on the fill side. Uh, there's a main light and a fill light. Uh, outside, the main light is the sun. The blue sky throws the fill light in. Uh, in a, when you're shooting in your kitchen with lamps like I've got set up here, if you look here, there's the, there's the main light side, there's the fill side. You see a little bit of fill on that brick side. There's a strong backlight, and then there's another light that sweeps across the background, but that's uh, really another matter. Look at that. That's the same thing. There, it, and not always the side of the building or the model or the hand that is facing you receives the main light. Sometimes the main light, very often in my stuff, the main light is off to the side. It's a raking light, it's a side light, uh, and the, 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 the fill is facing the, the camera. Uh, there's the model of that thing. Same thing. Notice that the shadow side uh, has a little more fill than the uh, first picture, but look at the uh, look at the uh, highlights on the roof. That's a very hot backlight. You really only need three lights. I know I've got four here, but you really you need main light, fill light, and backlight. It also shows something else in prototype photography that I can, I'm only going to touch on really briefly, and that is get your knees dirty. Uh, get down, lay on your stomach, uh, but get that height, the, 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 the point of view is so important to get exactly everything together, to get the, to get the building to break above the skyline there. Very often you're laying on your stomach to get the best picture. Sometimes you're on your knees, sometimes you're on the hood of your car. But you get that. Uh, this I'll show you very quickly. This is just at, just at sunset in Alamosa. This was a series I did just because I was interested in the hardware. But I was there at that time of day because I wanted the light to, to draw. Uh, this is a model. Of, this, this is showing a, a very strong backlight bouncing off of that uh, painted water. But to get, simply get that highlight on the water. Uh, this is all something that you do, you do in your mind. You take these pictures in your mind before you even start to set this stuff up. Same thing there. Uh, uh, to get, to play with the light, uh, to see that light bouncing off the door. Uh, it's all in positioning the lights, positioning the main light. There are two equal lights. There's no real fill light. There are two side lights. Uh, two side back lights uh, and, uh, and a very little fill light in front. Uh, I'm going to show you this kind of thing. Same light that I did that figure, I did that picture. Virtually the same light. Two very hot side lights. This is, uh, this is a preview of what you're going to see in the next issue of the Gazette. Uh, but uh, again, uh, the the front is not receiving the main light. The main light is raking in from the, the side of the tipple, and there's a hot backlight. Actually, that setup is exactly the setup I've got here. I've got two backlights and one fill light, one, one main light. Uh, but you don't see much of the main light in the picture. Same thing there. This was a little tricky uh, because they're trying to make just to balance, to make it look like it's uh, what it is. Uh, same thing. Uh, this is to show you something, if, I, if I've got time, uh, to show you how to do something like this. Uh, this is a totally unretouched, no Photoshop. This is a straight out of the camera picture. <coughs> Uh, this is a straight out of the camera picture. Uh, have not gotten a, this is for a future article. Uh, that's a candle holder for a mine. The previous picture was a miner's lamp. Uh, that's that's just a straight picture taken with exactly this setup. Uh, it, that, that equipment. Uh, that's the same kind of picture. I did these in the Leadville uh, uh, Mining Museum and Hall of Fame. That's the same thing 
but that, that one has been cleaned up in a, in, a, in, in Photoshop uh, and, and adjusted, but, uh, and, and, and so is that. But that is really taken with exactly, exactly the setup. Uh, these are probably going to be postcards. Again, I prefer to do it with these lights rather than any other lights that I have in my vast garage full of more or less stolen equipment. Thank <laughs> <laughs>